What's going on guys? So I had to respond to this video. I just felt led to because when I saw the comments and the way that people were responding, you know, there's people who consider themselves Christians who think she's actually right. Now the Bible says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And this is the perfect example where I say, you know, a lot of these people, they're too smart for their own good. The word of God is the final authority period. Now, I want unity in the body of Christ. I understand people don't like when I make these videos. Well, some people don't. But the reality is when I see that people are so lost, I have to speak up. I have to say something. I have to show you the truth in the word of God. Like her whole thinking is flawed. But that's no surprise. You know, I've never really connected with anything that she said in the spirit. I always see things the opposite of her post. And that's no surprise because Lecrae, you know, that whole group, there seems to just be, we just can't seem to get on the same page. And I realize why that is because things like this. So listen to what she had to say. Hey, Saints. Hey, Aints. Hey, everybody. Um, when I hear songs, I don't know about y'all, but when I hear songs that got words like consume us or fire fall, it's, it's a really hard no for me. And listen, I'm a poet. I, I get metaphors and like figurative language and all that. But but like y'all think it's giving worship. To me, it's giving Sodom and Gomorrah. It's giving judgment. There's nothing exciting to me about fire. Fire? Falling? <laughs> like if, if, if you want to sing that before the sermon, you basically want God to kill us. If, if you want to die, just just say that. So this is one of those things where I feel like a lot of YouTubers and Facebookers and social media people, they say stuff like, and people are like, man, that, that sounds cool. And everybody's a Christian until it gets biblical. And so it's like, oh, you know, I don't, I don't want the fire of God. I don't like songs about the fire of God. Now you guys know I've got several songs like this, rap songs, you know, uh, Door of Adonai talking about the fire of God and, you know, fall fresh on me. And, and the problem is what she's saying is simply just not biblical she's taking it like the fire of god is just all about judgment so when i hear those kind of songs you know i i don't i don't want that and she's trying to make it seem like the people who make those songs are off no you're off hebrews 12 29 says for our god is a consuming fire luke 3 16 john answered them all and say i baptize you in water but there's one who's more powerful than i that will come the straps of whose sandals i am not worthy to untie he will baptize you with the holy spirit and fire. You want that baptism of fire. Jeremiah 29. Then I said, I will not make mention of him nor speak any more in his name, but his word was in my heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones. That's a good kind of fire. All right. Acts 2, 3. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them when they were baptized in the Holy Ghost. Second Kings, Elijah's taken up in a chariot of fire. All right, horses and fire. First Corinthians 3.13, their work will be shown for what it is because the day will bring it to light. It will be revealed with fire and the fire will test the quality of each person's work. So you want the fire of God. You do want that correction of God to come and to purify um, and, and to re, you know, pur uh, purify and it'll bring some things to the surface. Now you guys know my saying, through the fire to be on fire. Sometimes you've got to go through the fire Right. And then you come out on the other side and you're just so grateful because that fire brings some things to the surface. That fire shows you like, look, man, I can go through fire and, you know, God is the one who allows it. Right. Just like with Job, God allowed Job to go through that process. So when you say, oh, man, I don't I don't want the fire. God, that means there's levels that you can't go to in the spirit. All right. Because when you reach certain levels, you're going to get spiritual warfare. You're going to get opposition if you're actually a threat to the devil. Right. So people say, Man, I don't want the fire of God. First of all, the fire of God is a very good thing uh, that we read in the first couple of verses. And then also when God allows you to go through the fire, it's not just judgment and bashing, but you go to the fire through the fire to come out as gold. And that's the problem with many Christians. They don't want to go through the trial. They don't want to go through any kind of opposition. They don't want uh, to go through the fire in any type of way. Because we got this comfortable, lukewarm Christianity. And notice that I'm constantly, Lecrae, you know, th this sister right here, so many of them, it's like they live in a different type of reality of Christianity. And it seems like this cool, hip Christianity. But a lot of times the things that they say and they do is just simply not biblical. And then people get mad when I hold their feet to the fire 
with the word of God because everybody's a Christian until we start breaking down this Bible. So the reality is, regardless of how you feel about what I'm saying, like I said, always pray about it. Don't just take my word for it. But we looked at the scripture. It said our God is a consuming fire. John, this verse, this verse alone, Luke 3, 16, I think that just kills everything she was saying. He says, somebody's coming who's greater than me that's going to baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. He's not saying, oh, man, that's a bad thing. He's going to baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. He's saying it's a good thing. There's a baptism that's coming that is going to be so powerful, and you want it, and it hit them like tongues of fire. So, yes, we want the fire of God to fall on us. And you know what? That would be my whole issue with these people. Because you're not on fire for God, that's why you have these lukewarm, uh, you know, stances. That's why you, you know, everything you seem to do lines up with the world, right? Every stance you take, it just happens to be the stance that the world says you can take. And then when it comes to talking about abortions, LGBTQ, and a lot of other stuff, not her in particular. I know she, you know, wrote some kind of book. I, I believe she said she got delivered about, delivered from it. I've just seen some of the things that she posts, and it seems to be like that that popular Christianity, like the world is like, yeah, we can, we can kind of rock with that as some aspects. I don't, I'm not going to judge her, you know, or, you know, bash her or say she's not a real, you know, Christian. I'm just saying there's clearly different types of Christianity and I have to speak out. I have to respond. And, you know, like the crane them, they said, oh, we're unashamed. Several times they've showed that not to be true. And the Bible says you will know them by their fruit. Now, everybody can be unashamed when we're about them, around a bunch of Christians. Everybody can beat their chest and say we're unashamed when, when we're in a Christian concert. But when people put you on the spot and they ask you about sin, are you on the red carpet around all those Hollywood people? Or, you know, you're on, I think it's Fox News and they're asking Andy Minio, what does this hat mean? And you're, you're too scared to say what it means. You're too scared to say it's a Bible verse. That's the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. Like I said, I pray for them, love them. I've offered to sit down and talk with many of these people before. I told you guys, I can't, I can't water down no more because these people keep posting this kind of stuff. And you look at the comments and people are like, yeah, yeah, that, that sounds good, but it ain't biblical. So pray for them. Study the Bible for yourself. Even if you don't agree with what I said in this video, go pray about it. Go study for yourself and just let God show you. All right. Just because they're accepted or they're popular or they got followers or whatever it is, it doesn't mean that they're representing the kingdom properly. Just because they talk about God doesn't mean the Holy Spirit is backing up everything that they say. And I don't care who signs off on them. I don't care if they went to Bible college. I don't care who backs them up. Success and fame and all that stuff does not equate to God approving of what they're saying and what they're doing. That's just the bottom line. And that's a hard thing for people to accept in Christianity because we do have like these stars, right? These stars of Christianity. So we just, I like this person so much, but things that they say can be false and be wrong. And you just got to know for yourself. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Be blessed. Be encouraged in Jesus' name. Thank you. I feel alive. Take some shots, but I survive. I feel heaven's doors, heaven's doors open. Lord, I see you pouring out your oil and a lot of